All right, the name of the show, where Ice-T goes in, he demolishes somebody's crib, right? He mm -hmm. destroys it, he blows it to kingdom come, and then builds them a new beautiful house, replacing the old disgusting house. Mm -hmm. It's called Ice-T Causes Crib Death. What I do is I Wait. bring death on their crib, right? They're like, this crib is disgusting, it's got to go, yeah. I'm going to kill it, I'm going to demolish it. Yeah, I see it's going to cause crib death. No, up in I here. get, I get it. I again, I think that you have not thought out the actual words in your title, uh, considering that they have right. double meanings. I'm, I'm iced tea. You're iced tea, but so, you can. Okay. That could They're be not going to think like a, a some glass of iced tea is is causing crib death. They're going to know it's <laughs> me because of my violent image. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, you had the problems with Cop Killer we were talking about. It It seems like... I know. Well, now I'm just directing my, my rage at objects. That's not... Who's yeah. mad at that, right? Well, uh, I think the problem is crib death may have a different meaning than the one that you're you're thinking about. No, I know. Like, probably a lot of white viewers out there will not know that crib also means house, you know? But I think thanks to MTV Cribs, enough people will understand that reference. Like, they'll get like, oh, that's a dwelling. That's a domicile. Can I just bring your attention to the fact that crib death actually means uh, a very unfortunate situation wherein a, a an infant uh, – I don't even want to go into this. Ice-T, can you just look up the term crib death? Like, just do me a favor. No need, Scott. It is uh, washing over me. Like, like a, a tidal wave of sorrow. Yeah. That's pretty much what I was going to say. Um, I guess I wasn't thinking – of them as a single uh, term like that. Uh huh. I was thinking of it more in terms of. Uh, you were combining two slang words. Yeah, yeah. Well, one slang word really. I mean, death is. That's just uh, it's not even slang for death. It's just death. I was uh, using it as a slang word for demolition, I suppose. And uh, now I see I've made a grave error, and uh, I've put an unpleasant association in people's minds with uh, sudden infant death syndrome. Sids for short. Sids, yes. Well, at least at least you can retitle the show. I'm sure you never said it during the show. It's just a title sequence, um, right? I say it roughly every ten seconds. <laughs> it's on my shirt. Oh no! Uh, much like Michael Kors, I wear the same outfit in every single episode. Oh no! Um, yeah, it's uh, it's on banners. It's on uh, a lot of posters. It's on a little bug in the screen. I mean, even it's on the cribs that you put into the people's new houses. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Why did nobody tell me? Like, like especially couples that had children, I would present them with a new crib. But surely you don't uh, have a lot of couples who have new children in the show. Almost all. It's oh, almost no, all. I there's see. like, I think there's two childless couples and they have pets. And on the dog beds, I put it. <laughs> um, Which I, I takes the thing out of it a little bit, I guess. I mean, nobody I refers so. to the dog bed as a crib. That's not bad. Yeah, I think you're safe there. At least those two episodes, as long as you blur out your t-shirt and bleep every 10 seconds, I think you'd be okay. That doesn't sound like much of a show, though, does <laughs> it? It really doesn't. Ugh. It would I'm be frustrating to watch because you're like, what are they saying? What does that shirt say? What's that poster over there say? What's that on the lower third of the screen? Uh, what, is, what is everybody else re repeating that Ice-T is making them repeat? Because you guys do a chant before every... every. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, I have, I have the, uh, the people whose crib it is. I have them yell at the top of their lungs, Ice-T causes crib death. Ugh, I'm so sorry to once again be a spanner in the works. Yo, 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 what's up, everybody? It's me, the rapper and actor, Ice-T. Let me ask you a question. How many times have you looked around your house and said to yourself, Man, I love my flat screen TV and my juicer and my frame print of a sexy lady battling a dragon. But if I died right now, I'd have to leave all this stuff behind. Well, cheer up, because Ice-T has the answer to your problem. Not the problem you apparently have with talking to yourself. The problem about what to do with all your stuff. Let me tell you all about Ice-T Pyramid, Pyramid Scheme. Scheme. It's exactly what it sounds like. Ice-T's Pyramid Scheme will put a life-size Egyptian pyramid right in your backyard. Then you can cram it full of all your earthly possessions. Don't show up to the afterlife empty-handed. It's a long journey there. You don't want to arrive looking like a chump. Stereo? Take it with you. Gold jewelry? That's a must-have. Oh, Ice-T, I guess I can't take my car. Yes, you can. Stop whining like a little baby. 
It's a full-size pyramid. You think I'm gonna try to sell you a tiny little pyramid that's only gonna fit a shoebox full of high school rings and your grandma's old brooches? I ain't trying to set you up to get laughed at by some dude with a bird head. I'm talking about a two-scale, brand-new Egyptian pyramid that can accommodate two mid-sized American automobiles or one regular-sized SUV. And here's the best part. All Ice-T Pyramid Scheme pyramids are built slave-free. All our pyramids are lovingly crafted by willing employees paid a lot more than minimum wage, believe me. They're all cool. You'll like them. You'll see. You'll get to know them because every IT Pyramid Scheme pyramid is built the old-fashioned way. So those dudes are going to be in your backyard for a few years at least. Now I bet you expect a full-size pyramid to cost more money than you would ever make in a lifetime. I understand. I wasn't always rich, son. So I made my pyramids affordable at just $10,000 a piece, parts and labor included. How can I afford to sell them for so little? Technically, I can't. I will absolutely be operating at a loss for the first year or so, but I'm confident that pricing them so low will create such a demand that eventually I'll start making a huge profit. It's just logic. At $10,000, you can't afford not to buy a pyramid any more than I can afford to sell one to you. So if you think about it that way, we're all in this together. So there you go. Enroll in ice Tea's Pyramid Scheme. Bring the grandeur and glory of ancient Egypt into your boring backyard and take all your possessions with you into the afterlife like every player should. You won't be sorry and neither will I. I know this is going to work. 100%. This will be a success. For sure. I am convinced of this. Okay, let's wrap this up now. I'm thinking about it too much. Ice-T's Pyramid Scheme. You can take it with you.